What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, K. Hit that subscribe button. See you on the inside. What's up, Chatty Baddies? This is your girl, Chat with K. And I'm back because I have something to say. I truly do. You always got something well, to say. I, I know. I normally I do. But if this is your first time tuning into my channel, Hante, there's some things we must do and you should too. Mm -hmm. And it's watch the video, like the video, comment on the video, share the video. And for me, hit that subscribe button and become part of the Chatty Patty Gang Squad. And then turn on your notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload another video. And there's a two-step request. And that is, please, don't skip the ad. And share your girl on all your social media platforms. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I don't care what you have. Ah, the TikTok. <laughs> the TikTok. The that too. The TikTok. <laughs> Wherever. But today, guys, we are back again with my friend KJ slash assistant slash painter and Ruska slash whatever. Slash I what? call <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Okay, guys, on a serious note, for real though, we are sitting here angry. We don't want to call out our restaurant, but they just really just, they, mm. they took us there. But we, we, we handle it professional. No, no, we're going to keep it professional. But this is, I want to say this. Welcome back to all my, uh, all of my re returning chatty baddies. And this is Table Talk Tuesday, episode number four. Today, guys, as you can see, I already said I'm with KJ. On a serious note, yes, KJ is uh, not only family, but she is also very dear to me. We're going to be talking about a touchy subject while we share some ice cream with you guys. I have a, uh, what you call it? What you, what's it say? It's supposed to be a McFlurry. A McFlurry. <laughs> we, just pay, <laughs> we just pay almost $8. For some McFlurry. For some McFlurry. I'm like, uh, we should have just went to the grocery store. Mm. But it is what it is at this point. So we just said, hey, it's nighttime. Guess what we doing? We doing a... Table Talk Tuesday in the car in M McDonald's. Shout out to McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Just <laughs> here. Coinies. In the car. So we, <laughs> we pulled underneath the light. So we're just going to just have some fun, but also talk about just to lighten the mood because we've been kicking in for a minute and we've been, we've been having a very busy day. So we had treated ourselves to some ice cream. But okay, today's topic we're going to be talking about people who are miss judge if I want, i'm a polite way to put it misjudge when they speak authoritative if that's a word is that a word authoritatively if it ain't you just said it, it's a word so it's a word <laughs> so when you say authoritatively yeah so i say authoritative in their voice what i'm saying and it's not that they're but they are taken the wrong way when people get real offensive as the person is being rude but they're really not it's just that my mother-in-law talks like that, you know, and, and when I first met her, I was like, oh, she is me. But then she is the sweetest thing ever. Same thing it is with KJ, okay? Uh, I, I'm going to tell her this on camera so she won't kill me. But when we first got the kids, when she first came into the ministry, started dealing with the kids, she was very authoritative in her voice, but she was a very good educator for her. And they were scared to death of KJ until they got a chance to meet her. Until they, I mean, they got used to her. They were scared to death. It was like, uh, Nana, she's mean. She does this and this is. But then when they got to know her and used to how she talks, they love her. And see, that's what I'm thinking is being misused. I mean, people with thought, right, misconstrued. Mm -hmm. So, KJ, tell us a little bit about how have you had some bumps in the road as far as because of the way you people have perceived you let's put it like that you know definitely because, with my family well well i'll say with, with my family i want y'all to see your face Sorry. and with with okay, there you being go. employed and with friendship so i'll start with my family first of all as a as a young person just in life like as a young person it's hard to to make certain moves with your family because oh, I'll say specifically as a young adult, mm -hmm. you are just now no longer a kid. You are just now paying bills. Maybe you have a car. Like you have all these different responsibilities on top of trying trying to maintain a healthy relationship with your parents, extended family, whoop de whoop de whoop. And so when 
You got it over there? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> when, when, <Family>. situ- <laughs> when situations arise and you want to speak your voice, they sometimes forget that you're not 8 anymore. You're not 12 anymore. You're not 16 anymore. You're not 18 anymore. At 18, you could just now sit at the grown folk table and play spades, right? <laughs> I'm 20 years old. I, I still know how to play spades. I wish I might think about going in the basement when they kick in and drinking and, and having grown folk time. But I also know my place, right? Mm-hmm. So as a... As a young adult, we're always in this this touchy space where we don't really know. We're like we're trying to do our own thing. Like we like yes, I'm grown, do 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 do. But we trying also we try to find ourselves. Mm-hmm. But we do want to maintain these relationships with our family. And I think sometimes they just forget that we are a young adult. We now it's time for us to employ the lessons that you have taught us all, all of our life. And I think sometimes. They, I'm going to say, they overstep a little bit because I done had some, some close calls with, like, my grandfather and my aunt, and I'm like, you dead wrong, but I can't say that because that's my grandfather, that's my aunt, and I got mad love and mad respect for them, even though I might be a little disrespectful sometimes. <laughs> just that's my business. Like, no. <laughs> that's my business. Okay, my, my, say over there, mind your business. Anyway. <laughs> I'm working on myself. There's always room for self-development, okay? I'm working on it. All right? Next. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> I like how you try to clean it up. I might be how to pocket. <laughs> Just a little bit sometimes. A little bit? A little bit sometimes. Just a lot of pending variables there, Okay. You see? Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, okay. on to employment. On it. Okay, good. In the workplace... Oh, you said employment? Employment. Let me ask yes. you this. Have you lost jobs because of it? Once. Once. Okay. Well, I've lo- um... And what did you learn from that? I've lost a job and I've, I've, I didn't quit a job. It was like just time for me to move on. But um, there were some close calls in this job. I learned, <laughs> boy, I know where, I know where to start. I will say that I could have handled the situation better. Thank you. My mother always tells me it's about my delivery and I do not always Ooh, go I through. I just going to say. I don't always go through the proper it's the, channels. It's the, I, it's the, <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. It's the delivery that you need to work on. I don't well, always mean to step on. on people's toes, but if I have to, I will go to the HB. I see. I, I will go to, to the head person in charge with the issue. <laughs> they want me to go through all these chains of commands, and I'm like, why? If you're here, you're my face. I feel like I should be able to come talk to you. Why do I need to go to Sally Joe and Melmo when you're <laughs> right here? That, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But Keep that, going. that was my issue, was, was the chain of command when I had issues. And then... This the last situation. Oh, I gave them the business, and so they fired me. That's my business too. But we're not we're not gonna talk about it. But I will say that I handled the situation. Not my business. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Zoe, Zoe. <laughs> I, I handled the situation what? incorrectly, um, but I felt like because of who I am, a young, short black female doing a lot of this. I was already out of there. Mm-hmm. Period. I was already out of. I, I didn't it's have to say one. nothing because they 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 already made up in their mind of how the situation was going to turn out. I was already out of there. What's the man? That nine dollars an hour, y'all can keep that. Only person who can threaten my my job security so did you is stop, the government. You, so did you stop doing all this stuff though? Yeah, I calmed this- down. Okay. I ain't gonna say I'm with I'm without attitude because you you ain't got too many chances to to cross me before we start having to st- straighten that out and and start running on parallel lines. Okay, this, don't Ugh. don't get all obtuse with me. <laughs> obtuse. Obtuse. <laughs> <laughs> don't get obtuse with me. Anyway, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to, to get people to perceive people <laughs> that who, who is taking people who talk with author, or <coughs> baby authoritative with their voice, and I think this is going to be an epic fail because KJ is like. <laughs> I also will but it's say. A good thing. I also will God, say. I have, a, fun. I have fun. a lot of anxiety, and so she sometimes does. when she I'm really does. when I'm placed in certain social situations, I got it's 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 natural, y'all. You got two options: fight or flight. <laughs> Me fighting is with my mouth. I like I love to do a lot of this. <laughs> she does. If if I flight, that means I'm running, and I'm like I I want to be socially. Away from everything, everybody. If you approach me, you probably gonna get snapped at because I clearly don't want to be talking to you right now. <laughs> but that's my business. How I choose to deal with myself. She's saying that's only for me. Wait, but for y'all, pause. What happened? Pause. Huh? She's saying 
that's my business. <laughs> she didn't know this going on YouTube, right? <laughs> I just want you to know. I know. <laughs> we are uploading this table talk Tuesday. Okay. We are uploading this on Tuesday. Stay tuned in the comment section. Hey, let me ask you guys a question. I'm asking a question. If you talk with authority with your voice, even when you're not upset, has it led to a verbal uh, disagreement? If you have, answer that question in the comment section for me. I even flipped it. So, to that point. So, you know what I started doing? Mm -hmm. Especially with my mom. Mommy, if you see that, I'm not going to say, I'm going to call her out or nothing like that. I'm going to say, Mommy, I love you. <laughs> but what I started doing with her is I'll start talking real calm. And as you say, using big words, she'll say, why are you so nonchalant? And I'm like, what do you mean, mother? I'll, ask, oh. I'll, I'll do it. Are you okay? You seem a bit upset. She hates that. She thinks it's so condescending. But I feel like if you don't want me to talk like this to you, then you're going to get the very type A, the very matter of fact, the very in your face. But I'm sitting like way over here. And you're going to hate me because you're going to think I'm a B. And you could be able to say nothing to me because I cussed you out. I ain't said nothing about your mama. I ain't in your face. I ain't none of that. I'm just over here chilling, minding my own business. And you're mad in your feelings because you don't know how to perceive me. That is the worst type of person. The quiet person. When I'm when when, when a person get quiet, when 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 they are when they are thinking on I'm a situation. Clean this up when she finished. You should be scared. That's all I'm gonna say. Next. <coughs> The, give me some water. The goal behind this Table Talk Tuesday was to educate people how to... Am I not doing that? <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are educating them well, by the way. You're welcome. But just, just so you know, she is educating them well. The reason why I say, okay, we can kiki and, and this and this and that, because I've had to talk to KJ a couple of times. It's like, okay, the kids are scared to death for you. I need you to they bring need it out of that, boo. And bring it down and I, well and i did and she did I'm, I'm just saying she did because when she first met them they were like they were scared they was like uh, like they came running to me like do we have to deal with her i don't want to go with her and i'm like uh you're not going anywhere with her but to be able to be educated there needs to be a person that could get more on the younger the generation's level. level than myself because I am so I'm so old school. Let's just be just be clear. All that what she doing right there? What is like, oh, mother, I love you, and you gonna hate me, and all. Uh, uh. My mom will pop off. That's that's <laughs> what, that's what because I'm like that. That's the type of parent I had. But see, these kids now, that's a whole different. That's a whole different thing. So. When I brought her into the ministry, when we first met and I brought her into the ministry, it, it did help them because she was able to reach them and communicate with them and get on their level, which also gave them their respect for her. So let, let's put it that. So when they knew there's two things she doesn't stray from and neither do I. And that's the reason why we get along as, as well as we do. And that's because education. I don't kick you about education. I'll be the one that be looking at you crazy. she be the one that probably will be like, okay. But I'm the I'm the firm one, but she still gets the job done. Exactly. And then and like, I, okay. I did calm down. I think I'm just very passionate. A lot of times people mistake hostility like, for I'm passion. I'm speaking to you. You look me in my face when I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm heck like, yeah. Hey, hey. You're intimidating, first of all. And this is the first time she met them. She just like, um, I'm speaking. They had, they had never had somebody who was on their level uh, expect, have those expectations of them. you just like, I'm speaking. I, I came out the gate. I ain't gonna lie. I came out the gate. I she did. did. She, I came did. Out, she came out swinging. I did. She came out swinging. I did. She came out swinging. Do, do I feel bad about it? No. no. Could I have done it better? Delivery. Yes. <laughs> delivery. Delivery. This is what delivery. we're talking about. But like the, you said, the, now the they, they have respect. If I see they, them in the streets, they know what's good. They know like, KJ oh, loved KJ, them. They this love is the person me. That say, uh, tell, tell me to the kids in the ministry, uh, we have a bus in the kneecap. We'll send them back. I'm like, KJ. <laughs> Remember you said that? Exactly. I'm like, um, everybody gonna withdraw their child from this ministry dealing with KJ. It's figurative. <laughs> bust, I know. Them, bust them in their imaginary kneecaps over exactly. this home. Exactly. Yeah. But they know when it's time to get this schoolwork and get it in. It ain't no plaything. It's not no plaything. I don't no. kiki when it comes to education. No, ma'am. And if I gotta, t if I don't mind 
having to go over something with you a thousand times until you get it. But if I see that you are not really applying yourself, then I get frustrated with you because I'm like, okay, you're not really trying. KJ is the type of person, we're not going to keep doing this. You are going to pay attention because I done told you once and I tell you twice and I tell you it again. And if I feel like you ain't doing it, and it's as just a like, matter of fact. Mm-hmm. Exactly. As a matter of fact. But, not because I'm angry or I'm rude or I'm mean, but because I'm passionate about what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And that's, again, where it can be misconstrued. Like if a parent mm-hmm. came in and was, they would be like, but after, like, when I spoke to, I won't say her name, but after I spoke to our first favorite student, mm-hmm. and I spoke to her mom, her mom was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And she, she understood why I was doing how loved I was KJ doing from the, And loved her from the, mm-hmm. no, no, and it was no other issues because she do know deep down, even though KJ came off speaking, so I would say on their level, harsh and mean, but she, it really wasn't. But then after... The mom got the clear understanding of what was what. It was like, oh, okay. And so the mom backed off. So when the child would say, oh, well, this and this and that. And it was like, oh, no. She already knew. She knew the business. (laughs) She already knew. Because then what was you not doing? And that's where it went. And it's like like I said, but it took that initial uh, knowing who you are and how you speak. And I'm just saying that because there's a lot of, there's a lot, there are a lot of people that are just like you mm-hmm. and they speak very with we'll authority. Yeah. Right. We'll and it feels off like, the bat like that. Mm-hmm. And then lose friendships, job opportunities because of our outward perception. And you haven't taken the time to get to know me yet. Mm-hmm. And that, that's not fair. And, that's very unfair. Yes. That's true. And, and, I had to, like, when I first met KJ, we had a very intelligent conversation. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I like her. So she's very educated. And you can tell by the way she speaks. I approached then, you. I know you did. Yeah. You, had, you approached me. You did. And it was very, she 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 approached me with respect. She did. Because she did know that I clearly am older than she is. So she did approach <laughs> me with respect. And then I said, okay, you want to come meet the kids in the ministry? And then I was like, who is this person that I just brought to my house to speak to these kids? And I was just like, okay. So then I kind of, I didn't interrupt her. I let her have her thing. And and, and then I spoke to her later afterwards. I was like, okay, uh, the kids was taken back. But as I got to know her, as we kept developing a relationship, I was like, uh, no, KJ is not a mean person. She just speaks very authoritative if i if, if that's the word mm-hmm. t-i-b-e okay authoritative. <laughs> you working on it yeah okay i, just, I, that's I, I had to business. spell it <laughs> that's your business. i said let me can i spell that somebody asked me say spell it okay so that's what this whole purpose of this video was is to try to educate people just because a person speaks with authoritative tone it does not necessarily mean that they are mean it's is that's not mean that it's malice behind it or they or just that just, they're hostile oh yes yeah, hostile. i'll tell you about the lady calling okay story time y'all and this is relevant okay so i'm having some issues with my apartment right now anybody who's anybody yeah. knows that if you don't want nothing else in life you want to be comfortable in the spot you paint in mm-hmm. and staying in that you pay any amount of money for so very recently i called the property people and she now also, anybody know what you don't do is you don't call a black woman hostile. <laughs> that's what you don't do. Anyway, I digress. Because that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the clap, clap. Anyway, so she, we, she said this, and I'm like, excuse me, but I most certainly just came off of 410. I get up at 530 in the morning. I'm currently on my way to another client on my second job, boo. But I understand you may not understand that type of work ethic. That's your business. How you was raised, that ain't got nothing to do with me. But me right now, I got two jobs. So excuse me if I may seem a little hostile. It's not hostility. It's irritability because I'm tired. Okay? So in that moment, yes, I feel like it was misconstrued. And she was dead wrong. By the way, And she was very rude to me. Um, but you, uh, you never know what somebody else is going through. I had Mm -hmm. just came off a four. If y'all don't know what that is, that's four days a week working 10 hours and I work third shift and I have a second job and I'm a full time student. Mm -hmm. So you want to talk about hostile? I could show you hostile, but in that moment I was just tired. (laughs) Right? So it's not that, and again, I'm frustrated. So on top of all this, right. On top of all this, I don't have no heat. It's just a number of things going on in the place where I'm supposed to be the most comfortable, which is my home. And I can't even get that. And you're going to have the nerve to call me hostile? 
Oh on. no. Oh. We don't do that. So yeah, that that's a that's a prime example. <laughs> Even though I know the reason why she had her complaints, I know because she's <clears throat> sorry. We have talked about how the upkeep of the apartment is not fair, which is really not. It's not fair. And for her to be paying that amount of money in rent, it, it, it should be taken care of. And so that's a, that's another thing which caused her to have the the aggression in her tone as she took in all the fairness. She said it nice. Me? <laughs> she would have got the Khadijah check. If I was dealing with some of the things that she's dealing with, she said it nicely. I thought me personally, oh, they would have backed, they would have backed a U-Haul up to my truck and said, uh, my house. And we said, we are going to move you for you. Right. You know, and, and, but on, again, they, if, if you don't want us to throw the word slumlord around, then you do what you're supposed to do. Right. Okay. So, but. To say that's the reason because you was hostile, no. you have a right to be hostile because it, about it, my stuff. If you was hostile, if you was irritated, and you and if you spoke very authoritative in that conversation, mm -hmm. the reasons why were warranted because it, we've she's asked these things to be taken care of multiple times, multiple times. So and when you ask nicely, you don't get anything. When you ask, that's, that's what I told him. I said, I gotta talk like this to y'all because when I'm when I'm cordial, when I'm kind, when I'm reasonable, sugar, honey, iced tea don't get done. So I gotta bring out this little beastly mode, and maybe some Beast stuff mode. will start have happening around here. <laughs> Just around here. <laughs> okay, guys, I just wanted you guys to know that uh, KJ is a person. If you know someone, family member, employee, if you got your own business, you got an employee, just just try to get to know somebody before you quit to judge. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, everybody has their own different traits characteristics if 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 you if you will because i'm not like you you're not like me we right. may have some of the same similar things we may function in some ways but i'm clearly chat with k and she's clearly kj so we 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 even out each other because this time this one i'll be like uh when i sometimes kj is the assistant like KJ be like, uh, this needs to be done, that needs to be done, this me. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> whose <laughs> business is it? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, wait who's in minute. charge here? Wait, who's I'm the boss? Who's, who's in charge? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, wait a minute, the rules got switched, and I didn't get the memo or something. I'm like, uh, wait a minute. But you know? I'm the assistant. I gotta keep you on your toes. I know, but at the same time. She makes sure that this, 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 and this, and this, 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 and this, this, and this. It's it's done. And, and the checklist is done, and she put things in order. Said before we can do this, we need to do this. Or well, this needs to be done to to counteract this. And but now I with KJ, I'm I'm saying it to be a joke and matter because I really didn't get offended. Mm. It was just this fact that had I not known her prior to us trying to do other stuff, I'd have been like, who she thinks she? Yeah. Everybody else, who she thinks she talking to? Right. She know, uh, uh, I'm the boss. And I say that because that's like KJ. She does, and and if if. Any business adventures that I want to do or any ventures that I will do now and forever or whatever the case may be, I will let her help me through those processes before I go to the next person. You know, sometimes things happen where you have to have multiple people. But at the same time, though, with at least with her, you know that things are going to be in order. Sometimes you just got to tell her, take a you I got this. Much, right. <laughs> You're doing too much. I got this. Which is but... something else that I'm working on. I'm working on not being so overbearing per my mother. She's like, girl, sometimes people just don't want your help. You got to accept that. I'm like, well, okay, I'm just going to be helpful. I'm sorry. Ooh. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but it, it, it's all good, though. But, again, it takes, it comes with experience. And she is a work in progress. But I will say Very this about so. her. Although, do not, we've been kicking through this whole video, making funny, whatever case may be. And, and it wasn't scripted. So you're gonna get what you get, right? You know, and bad lightning. Oh, you gonna get this? <laughs> you gonna get it's this? It's actually not that bad. It's kind of nice. It's cute. Okay, so they gonna be like, oh, night. We are gonna call it Table Talk Tuesday Night Talk. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever. But I mean, again, we we really have had. We do have a really good re relationship, and once you, it, she know her role, I know my role, and we go from there. And the respect is given on everything. But not knowing KJ, 
I, I wonder why people keep sending her. Well, I ain't gonna say keep sending because then they'll, I won't think. I think you got uh, unemployment issues, and that's not the no. case. She never have. But I'm saying, if she don't work on the delivery, girl, so you you won't have all these uh, spots in your in yes, your I resume. Know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Clean it up. I've been fired. Mm -hmm. I think twice in my whole time working. Mm -hmm. And the other time was for another matter that we don't have to talk about because that's my business. <laughs> but this one time, I was very disappointed in myself. And I really had to to take a step back. Mm -hmm. I, and my mother's always telling me, mm -hmm. you got to change, you got to change. Da, 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 da. And, I'm like, and at that particular moment, I was like, wow, I am now unemployed because of my behavior, because of how people perceive me, because of the things mm -hmm. I say. And that mm -hmm. made me take a step back. And I like, feel like... Listen. Life lesson. I feel handing like out life lessons, I feel like growth, handing out life lessons. I feel like growth in any person in any person's life kind of truly begins when that person can see the wrong that they're doing, or at least kind of see or admit what other people have said mm -hmm. and act on it. And that's that's what I'm working on with myself now. Thank you. That's good to hear. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I very am. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you for doing this video, K KJ. Thank you for opening up and, and sharing your experience as far as how things are for you. But I still want you to work on your delivery so that you can look back at this and take it as a life lesson as well. So, guys, learn from KJ. Hope I was helpful. I'm quite sure you were. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll give you some good examples on what not to do. Exactly. So, you're welcome. Okay. So, but you already know, guys, if you, this is my closing spill, you know what you do. This is Chat with K. Uh, it's getting dark and I'm getting cold, so I'm getting ready to go. However, um, oh, love God, love yourself, and love others, and definitely love KJ, okay? How can you not? Oh, Let's love. not to love. <laughs> <laughs> definitely love KJ, all right? And if you skipped any of those steps when you came in, especially if you skipped ass, now you got to watch the video all over again, Ooh. okay? You gotta watch it all over again. So please, don't skip the ass. And until next time for Table Talk Tuesday, we will see you guys next week for Table Talk Tuesday on Tuesdays. Anything you wanna say, KJ? In, in closing? No. She says, now. Be, be safe, be kind to yourself and one another. That's that's my biggest thing. R&R, &R, get some rest and relaxation. Respect. Um, respect. <laughs> <laughs> rest, rest and relaxation. <laughs> Um, my, I think my biggest advice, outgoing advice, would be mm -hmm. to take care of yourself. Find time to do something you love once a day, once a week. Mm -hmm. And then remember to spend time with your family because we all need each other right now. All right. In closing, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.